some people think college isn't for everybody. I disagree. You can go to college and you can find a major for, you know, everyone. Um, the liberal arts majors like English and history are good for people who don't really have a high aptitude in math and science. And the performing arts majors are good for people who are really a little bit more talented than brilliant in um, such majors like science and math. Um, so I pretty much disagree that college isn't for everyone. I think it's just the price tag that um, makes college um, inaccessible for uh, certain people. Um, if college was affordable for everyone, um, everyone could go to college. Um, but it's really the expensive, outrageous price tag that um, makes um, college unaffordable um, for certain people. But um, I, I think um, I think college is good for everyone. I think everyone should go to college and um, know how to read and write and think beyond A, B, C, and one, two, three. I mean, supposedly college is supposed to um, teach you um, how to, um, you know, think um, beyond the obvious um, with a college degree or um, with a college education. Um, you're supposed to know how to um, think beyond the trite cliches. Um, I, I mean, I can remember high school and my teachers would say, um, Shakespeare is great. And then I go to college and then I, I hear my professors um, say that Shakespeare sucks. And, you know, it's kind of great that I sort of got that different perspective in college. Like in college, um, the professors are a little bit more critical and, you know, they don't think like all the majors are so great or so fantastic. Um, you get a little bit more critical perspective um, from your professors um, when you go to college. I mean, in high school, it's like um, everybody um, who's uh, a major name in English literature is a great writer. And then you go to college and then you critique some of the writers. And, um, you know, in high school, Romeo and Juliet was a great um, tragic play, and like in um, college, oh, like uh, Romeo and Juliet, um, you know, had some, you know, tragic ending that just wasn't so great. So um, I, I basically say that um, I, I think um, college is good, and um, at at this point, um, I think. Um, I don't know if I if I have a daughter today, I will tell her that you know she could uh, decide she could go to college and just decide if she wants to have a professional career or become a real housewife of Beverly Hills. And I don't think a lot of women should be told that you know they have to um, get uh, corporate job titles at Fortune 500 companies to be worth anything special. Um, I'm sort of feeling that, you know, we should go back to the old rules where, um, you know, people put a little bit more emphasis on, you know, family and friends and not really corporate job titles. So, um, you know, I, I do think all women should go to college and just decide if they want to have a professional career as a doctor or lawyer, or if they, you know, just want to retire and become no real housewives of Beverly Hills, and I don't think um, women should be sold any lies and be told that, um, you know, being nothing but a mother and a wife is a worthless life. Uh, I, I think um, women could get a lot of satisfaction just having a simple life where um, they spend, you know, a lot of time with their family and just traveling around the world. I mean, um, it's just bad that um, we think that, you know, we have to um, make slaves out of people to, um, you know, produce um, all these uh, 
numerous of uh, great uh, actors, singers, writers, dancers, uh, scientists, all these professionals. It, it, it just seems bad that we have to make slaves everyone just to produce all these um, professionals um, in various fields. And no, I, I'm feeling that, you know, we pretty much should go back to the old rules when it comes to family, marriage, and dating. Um, I'm not buying all the progressive rules that have been established, you know, in the 20th century that I grew up with. I, I think um, if women want to have um, a simple life of family, friends, community, um, she should feel entitled to have that life. But, um, you know, I, I feel at this point women should not feel marginalized to um, think that their lives are bounded by the domestic spheres um, or the domestic roles of a wife and mother. I, I don't think um, women should be told that um, what the meaning of their life should be is a corporate job title at a Fortune 500 company. Um, I'm just thinking not all the old rules are bad and um, people should, you know, go back to some of it, but, you know, we should be thankful that um, we have loosened up some of the rules and now I just think, you know, we gotta be a little bit more critical of what is good progressive um, values and what is bad progressive values. And I think we're living in a time where we're getting a lot of bad progressive um, values about family, marriage, and children. Um, today we're getting a lot, a lot of bad progressive values um, when it comes to um, family and dating and marriage and everything. So, um, I say um, college is good for everyone. I disagree that um, not everyone should go to college. I think everyone should go to college and um, get a diploma where um, they, they learn to read, write um, beyond ABC and one, two, three. Um, what makes um, college um, unattainable for everyone, it's just the price. And otherwise, um, I think everyone should go to college. That's what I, sh that's what I just want to end this YouTube by saying that I think everyone should go to college.